Iron thing is more so because it's warm, like yeah. the warm water. Maybe that's the reason behind that yeah. <laughs> myth, if yeah. you will. Yeah, um, the beach is going to be really nice tomorrow. It was nice today. Uh, we are going to be in for a sunny delight throughout the region. We've got our nice drone footage of the beach here. I just did a little revamp of the beach cast. We'll bring in uh, the actual numbers here. 77 at the beach tomorrow. Water temps right around 70. If you are planning to get out, UV index is going to be very high, so you'll need the sunscreen and you'll need to keep reapplying if you're spending the entire day out at the beach. It's 93 degrees outside right now. West to northwest wind at six miles per hour. This is at the airport at the beach. The winds right now are out of the southeast as that sea breeze is trying to get going, but we've got the dry line draped right over top of us. The cooler air is still farther to the north and very active weather in the deep south uh, with this front moving that direction. So you see the cooler air to the north. This front will drop in tomorrow morning early before the sun comes up. It'll be a quiet passage. We are not expecting strong wind with this, but it will uh, drop the humidity levels even more. So a sunny delight with mid 80s and full sunshine for Saturday. Same front then retreats back to the north on Sunday and that will bring about more clouds, more humidity and a little chance for an isolated shower on Sunday morning uh, and it'll be warm still temperatures in the mid 80s. Then into next week, a weak front. Another one comes in and day to day isolated to widely scattered showers will be possible that starts on Sunday and then we'll see again a day to day low end chance for some spotty rain through the middle of next week. The front coming in, it's not going to be a strong one. No huge temperature fluctuations, but it may be enough to keep us in the middle to upper 70s next Tuesday and Wednesday with overnight lows staying in the 60s. Tonight again, watch out for areas of fog as the sun sets through about two or three o'clock in the morning. Uh, some of that could be thick near the coast. This front comes in and rids the area of fog will drop down to right around 60 degrees tomorrow morning. Lots of sun, mid 80s, low humidity for Saturday. If you're out on the water, it'll be a good day for it. Just some light chop, two to four foot waves and a north to northeast wind, five to 10 knots. 84, more clouds, more hum humidity and a spot shower Sunday morning. And that day to day chance for widely scattered showers in play Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday with that weak front coming in. Uh, so it's possible. It's the type of forecast where you know, some locations may not get anything at all over those mm -hmm. three or four days and others may get, you know, a few more showers. It's just going to be widely scattered kind of luck of the draw on who yeah. gets the rain and who doesn't. It definitely looks a lot more springy oh, yeah. with the rain and whatnot. Yeah, I think we're done with the freezing weather here for until next whatever. But, I don't yeah. mind that. All right. Here um, comes the heat. Yep. Thank you, Alan. <laughs>